Here's how to show some GPS coordinates on a live map in your Ignition project. So this page is available for download in the description below. And in the designer, um, on the page, there's a few different custom properties that need to be configured. Uh, the Google Maps static maps key, which you can get from the Google Maps uh, static maps info page, which is in the description below. And then we just need to bind this latitude and longitude um, to a uh, tag that we're going to make in just a little bit. Uh, the map URL concatenates all this stuff together um, and you can look more on the static maps page for Google uh, of what that's doing. So where we're going to start is we're going to go into Ignition and we're going to configure a TCP driver uh, to get those GPS coordinates. So I'm just going to edit it so we can take a look about at how it's created. Uh, it's at the port to the port and the address to the IP address and uh, you can I've tried going in here and doing character based and using the dollar sign to try and parse out what I need um, but it didn't really work as I expected it to. So, so we're just going to use fixed size and I just put in 1024 to grab a good size bit of information and then we can just parse out what we need from there. So I'm going to go ahead and save that and uh, be, it's not connected right now so we'll take a look at that. And you and so there's actually a uh, this is my Android phone. There, there's a application called Share GPS made by Jilly Bunch um, that'll stream and you may stream to any TCP IP uh, server. Or I guess it acts as a server. So I'm going to go ahead and open that. And then under connections on the top right, um, I'm just going to reconfigure this so you can see what I've done. Um, so this is good if you have maybe an operator or somebody in the field or an Android device or something out there that you want to keep track of. So I'm going to say set up by activity, choose the activity, and I'm going to pick this top one that says share GPS with a laptop that does not have GPS using NMEA. So select that, connection method, the bottom one use TCP IP, and the name, I'm just going to give this a name, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to sit next. And then here, the default port is 50,000. You can set that to whatever you want. I'm going to keep it as TCP IP. I'm going to hit OK. And it says idle. If you click on it, um, it'll say listening. So right now, I don't have a fix. Um, but once that comes up, uh, it'll, it'll say at the top 3D fix or 2D fix. Um, and then I go ahead and click on start tracking. So now that that's running, let's go back to ignition and it's connected. So if we go back into designer, I can open the OPC browser, refresh that, look under devices, there's my GPS, and then here under port 50,000, we have the message in the last received time. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drag this over, um, and now I have these two tags. Close that, I'm gonna wait for this message to come in. And uh, if I just, I just have another window open here. Um, so this is all the information that that tag is reading. I'll just and there's a bunch of different types of uh, GPS data. And I believe the one that we're looking for is GPRMC. So we can see it right there. So now we're just going to look under gateway event scripts. Um, I've just made mine as a timer uh, to run every 5,000 milliseconds. And this is all taken from a Python script that Martin Lang made wrote that's uh, in the GitHub link below. And all this is doing is uh, doing some math to parse out the information. And uh, we're looking for the line that starts with GPRMC. And then we parse that information out. And then we write it to a tag called the lat to GPS lat and GPS long. And the tag that we're reading originally from is GPS forward slash message. So if you need to change those, that's where those are. So I'm going to go ahead and hit apply and re enable this. And then the gateway event scripts don't uh, start until we save it. So we'll hit start and we should start seeing these update in just a second. So now that we have those new values, um, there I am in Berlin. And we just make sure that um, these things are bound to the right place. Um, latitude and long, and then you'll just uh, input your Google Maps key that you got in there. Uh, and that's it. And you can use this to zoom in and out. 
and you can use this up here to change the map type. Thanks for watching.